Direct field levitation of a 100 millimeter commercial electromagnet. And we can move the voltage up and down quite easily to make it change. So direct field levitation is easy because of the iron around the outside. However, reverse field levitation is very hard to demonstrate using these commercial models. We'll try still. I've got the ring of eight magnet sitting here on the outside of the commercial electromagnet. I'm going to turn the power on and you see one side clearly jumps up. Turn the power off, goes down. Now we're going to leave everything exactly the same and put another permanent magnet of exactly the same polarity in the center and let's see what happens. Everything's exactly the same. I've just replaced that eight ring of magnets which are jumping up into these conditions with this permanent magnet. I haven't turned the power on. It's sticking to that iron below. And I turn the power on and try to lift it up. I can't even get it off the surface. It's pulling down so hard. hard. Everything's been reversed. Okay, meanwhile now I'm going to sit here and switch the leads. Plug it in again. Watch this. Oh, it jumped up. Now that's reversed levitation of what we just had around the outside. So you have one pole of levitation around the outside or around the inside. We take that same ring of eight magnets as before where instead of the center we're going to the outside. And with there's 60 magnet jumped up. We turn the power on and these things just sit there and won't move. Now we're going to reverse the leads. The power is still on. And it jumps up. We power, turn the power off, goes down, turn the power on, jumps up. So we need an opposite set of currents in my magnetic poles to levitate out here that we did than we did for the 60 magnet near the center. The first was called direct field levitation. This is called reverse field levitation. Just for confirmation, here we have an 80 millimeter commercial electromagnet. We put a ring of eight S magnets on top of it. We turn the current on or off. It flops up or comes down. You were getting rep reverse field repulsion around the outside. Turn the current off or down. And if reverse the leads, turn the current on again. We can't move it. The attraction is so great. With the current on and with the current off, we can move it. Now we're going to reverse the, reverse the leads one more time and make it jump up. And jumps up again. So we clearly, this is the repulsive mode around the outside for an AD electromagnet. Now we're going to compare it to it the inside using a permanent magnet. Put a permanent magnet inside on the same thing. We can't even remove the, remove the, uh, Lift it up at all, reverse the leads, and see what happens. Jumps up! Oh, I can't even keep it on there. There it is. It's floating way up in the air now. Stay in there, my friend. If we turn off the power again, it goes down. Turn the power on again, it jumps up. So we clearly have a reverse leads are needed to repel around the outside versus the inside. This is called reverse field levitation. One kind of pole is here, another kind of pole is here. We can levitate off both of them. Bye for now.